Hello, YouTube. This is Sean, the Divine Diva, coming at you with my NACA Journey Reboot Update. And so I had my appointment with my MC on June 11th, and it was very interesting. Um, it was a go-to meeting um, in the middle part of the day or so, and it started off, you know, fairly normal at first. Um, I had spent quite a bit of time uploading documents prior to the appointment and then some others the evening before the appointment. And so my MC pulled up my file, began going through it and asking questions. And there were several things that he said were not visible. He just didn't see them. I was trying to ask him questions. He was talking. Um, he would respond, but then it seemed like when I would ask another question, um, you know, it was just a very frustrating situation in that moment. And I kind of felt a way in terms of how our back and forth was going. And it occurred to me, you know, maybe there's a delay. You know, maybe he's talking, you know, and thinking that I'm interrupting or vice versa. But in any case, I got in my feelings real quick and I kind of mentally uh, shifted. I was telling myself that, hey, you know, Sean, you're trying to get this situation done. You're trying to get this house um, be chill, be chill. But I'm going to be honest, y'all. It was like not going well after those first uh, few minutes. And so then, you know, I even shut down my email. I shut down the file because I had those things up on my computer monitors and, and he was asking me questions. But, you know, in my head, I was thinking, you know, he's talking to me in a way that, you know, was putting me in my feelings and I was trying to give the benefit of the doubt, et cetera. So in any case, all I'm thinking is what's the goal? What's the end goal? Get this house, do what you got to do, figure it out, et cetera. So it came uh, to a point where, you know, he was saying he wasn't seeing the documents that I uploaded and I'd stayed up, you know, very late the night before, just double checking my file, uploading some things that I'd missed, et cetera. And so it occurred to me that maybe it was the situation that I'd read about online in the forums about using um, a different browser. So I was attempting to ask that question and it was just kind of a rocky type of situation. So um, I said all that to say, uh, the way my personality is set up, <laughs> IRL, right, in real life, um, that appointment would have been, a, it would have gone a different way. But all I could think about is what is the goal, you know, don't get frustrated, just go with the flow. And so at some point, we hit this brick wall where we both discovered, okay, you know what, the, the tone of this meeting has to change and so we actually found some common ground and I'm not going to get in the in the details on that but what I will say is finding common ground with your counselor or anyone just in in everyday life is um it's helpful right you get a lot more of what just you need allowing myself when you can kind dream, of cousins. meet in the middle on some things so we kind of really kind of took a reset and started over and had a very productive um no rain stopping appointment. me today. So what ended up happening is um, he gave me lots of feedback. My file looked pretty decent, but I did have to go back and re-upload those documents that I'd previously used. I believe I used Chrome the first time. And so when I went back and re-uploaded, I did use Internet Explorer. And that's what I've been using ever since. Um, I was given an appointment for... <laughs> forever you know um for several months later however with the understanding that he would be periodically checking on my file and so that was at the beginning of uh june or second week of june essentially and since that time maybe within a couple weeks time 
um, maybe the d- a day or two after I did get my documents uploaded. But within a couple of weeks, I got another follow up message um, saying that my file was being submitted. Yay. And so I was super excited about that. Posted that in the online group that my file was being submitted. Um, just really ecstatic about that and just waiting on feedback. And so here we are now in the first week of July, and I got some additional feedback this week saying that um, I have some conditions. So that basically means that there were some questions about the file, um, some items in the file. So for example, um, we realized there was a discrepancy in my tax return and the W-2s that were uploaded. And it took me a little minute, like I could not understand where the discrepancy came from. But then I remember I'd done a seasonal job during the year and it wasn't, you know, for a lengthy period of time. But I had basically worked about three days um, doing some seasonal work and, you know, made enough money for it to be reported. And I had included it in my tax return and did not remember it and did not upload that W-2. So that was a condition that I was able to address right away. Another condition was, there was a question about my student loans. And so while I'd uploaded that document showing all the different pay plans, I had to re-upload it um, with the description on the side of the student loans. There's a section where it shows your household composition and your annual salary and personal information. And so I had to re-upload that document um, so that it reflected that information on the side. Um, And there were a couple of others that were super minor that I was able to write LOEs for. And so now I'm at a phase where I have uh, re-uploaded that information and will be reaching out to my MC Um, Just to let him know it's there, even though he did share that he'd be checking my file periodically. Um, I'm I'm expecting to be resubmitted uh, pretty soon. And so I'll give an update, but just wanted you to know that um, this NACA journey is an interesting one. But it really is about um, how we choose, um, how we choose to go through this process. Or I guess what I'm really trying to say is we choose um, our own mindset and our mindset will determine how we go through or get through this process. So I could have chosen to disconnect my call with the MC when I was frustrated. Um, and I'm not going to lie, IRL in real life, I was completely tempted to just disconnect the call. But at the end of the day, I have a larger goal in mind and I had to move my own personal uh, frustration out of the way. I had to look at it in a different light. And I was willing to say, hey, maybe it's me, even though I didn't think it was me. um, I was able to reset and regroup and find some common ground so that we can move on and get this house. Okay, so this was just been um, a quick update. I chose to do it this way um, because I wanted to give an update (laughs) this way. So wish me well on my NACA journey reboot, praying for qualification to go through uh, this week or next, but I'm going to be positive. Take care, YouTube. Have a wonderfully blessed day.